As he claimed victory in Sunday's election, Gustavo Petro said he has big plans for Colombia. Our government will turn Colombia into a global powerhouse for life. We will promote peace. We will promote social justice, as well as environmental justice. The former rebel is Colombia's first leftist president, and voters have high expectations as the nation's economy starts to recover from the pandemic. In this moment, the number one thing he has to do is eliminate malnutrition. There are many people suffering from hunger, but I think he can do it. He's already won the presidency, which was a huge challenge. Petro's campaign highlighted the social and economic inequalities that have long plagued the South American country. The new president says he wants to raise corporate taxes and boost spending on social programs, while also changing how Colombia fights drug trafficking groups. On Sunday, Petro also said he wanted to modernize the nation's economy by making it less dependent on oil exports. We must make the transition from that old economy based on extractive industries that poison water to a new production-based economy that generates a lot of jobs. The senator defeated Rodolfo Hernandez, a real estate magnate who financed his own campaign and ran on an anti-corruption platform. Hernandez quickly acknowledged defeat. I hope that Gustavo Petro can manage the country well, that he tackles corruption and that he does not betray the people who trusted in him. Turnout was higher than usual in the second round of voting, and the result was decided by just 3%. This election has been marked by frustration with Colombia's traditional parties, which were unable to get any of their candidates into the final round. President Petro will have to deal with growing rates of poverty and the highest inflation in two decades while reducing drug violence in Colombia's rural areas. Manuel Rueda, TRT World, Bogotá.